Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Hartenfeller, product lead at United Codes, and today we're going to look at how AI can help us to integrate unit tests. So, why do we want this? First, productivity with AI, it's super fast and you don't have to do much yourself. Um, and of course, unit tests bring great software quality. You can, while developing, for example, make sure that uh, your logic works and even more better in the future, you will build a huge amount of different tests. And if you do any changes, you can just rerun them and make sure that everything still works. So I will use UTP SQL in this case, that's my testing framework of choice just. And I use GitHub Copilot, but you can probably use cursor or anything else as well. I will share my best practices and how to handle the test data. We are going to test this one on the strategic planner sample application. It's available just in the gallery in Apex. Um, but it's just, it has some good um, examples we can test about. So here we are in my VS code. And the first thing I want to show you is that I have this file. It's called copilotinstructions.md in the .github folder. And as I use VS code with GitHub Copilot, this is the file where I can write down context for the AI to use. So every time I ask the AI to do something, it will take into account um, these guidelines here. First, like I give some general info about my coding style, lowercase all keywords, and then with two spaces, format like this, etc. Some additional guidelines like exception handling with Apex debug error, parameters, how I write them, etc. More importantly here, um, you can use the database connection local 23 AI K scope. I just reused some connection I had to run SQL statements and get more info. So as you can see here, I have this SQL developer extension and I have this connection stored in here. I'm already connected. This has like MCP support you might have heard. And this just gives, gives the AI the ability to um, use this connection to run some SQL, etc., and to explore the database. We will see that later. But the next part here, and that's uh, most importantly, I have a testing section here. This product uses util psql, add positive and negative test cases add multiple test cases, etc. Again, you can connect, don't do manual transactions, let UGP SQL handle rollbacks. That's important because if you want to test like inserts, etc., UGP SQL just does a rollback after each test so you don't end up with lots of um, yeah, test data. I list all the matches in here. So uh, in the past I had sometimes rarely it uh, hallucinated any matches that don't exist. Also importantly, I have still all the source code inside this project here. With MCP, of course, the AI could connect to the database, but how these um, coding agents work, they use a lot of the files, um, they run like CLI commands like grab to, to search for something in the project. So it's still very valuable to have all the source files in here. I just use SQL CL projects export to set up this structure. Um, in this test case here. There's one thing I don't like. It does like create a, it does create a single file for each table. And that's not really, yeah, that good for, for um, AI context. So I, I basically let AI write a small bash script that just creates a combined file with all the definitions in one place. And even here in my copilot instructions, I just say it can look up the table definitions in there. The table definitions are really important because, for example, for coding, um, you will always reference like the columns, etc. But now let's get actually going. Let's get cooking. We we want to test first this one. This is a really nice example for doing unit tests because it's fairly simple. Um, SP value compare and has like these um, is equal functions. So these are pure functions. Basically, they don't interact with any data. It's just a return based on the parameters. We want to basically test if this works like we are used to. So I, I created a small prompt. I prepared it. Generate me some UTP SQL unit tests for this package. Create a test value compare package in the test folder. Save PKS and PKB separately because in the past it does try to do everything in one file and I don't like that. But you can see here, I reference this file and also the test folder. So what first, like because this file is already open, it does um, here already uh, show it here, but you can add the plus to add it to the context and also the test folder, which I reference, I also just drag into here. From experience, because this is overloaded, 
with different types. Um, it will probably have some issues um, making sure that, for example, if you pass null, it, Oracle doesn't know, is it varchar null, is it date null, and then it will complain because it doesn't know which function to call. So uh, cast values explicitly to their types as the is equal function is overloaded with different types. And then I tell it again, use the local 23i kscope 25 connection to compile the packages and run the tests. So this is super nice because maybe it generates a package that is uh, not doesn't compile correctly, then it when it just can compile it itself, it notice, oh, I have an error in there and reiterate, etc. Really important, first copilot, set it to agent mode. Agent is the most capable mode where it can do a lot of things from itself, um, create files, look in the folders, run some commands. And I also use Claude Sonnet 4, really important. Claude is the most capable model for PLSQL in my experience. Even GPT-5 currently does not uh, match that knowledge. Um, maybe in the future it will change, but um, I, I really highly recommend using Claude. So let's get started. So it's now starting to work. I help you create, read the test folder, etc. Then it will come up with some code. So it actually already came up with the package spec, a package spec with all the tests here and the body. And now it actually also ran connect to the database with the SQL MCP server. It compiled the specification and now it's compiling the package body. And we are done. This actually took longer than I expected, like a few minutes actually. So it had, as I said, some issues with uh, the overloaded type of functions. First, I had to actually intervene because it thought the issue was that UTPL SQL has some issues with testing booleans. It was um, that it just passed something in here that's not clearly the type it should have been. So I had to uh, actually stop and say there is no issue with the boolean and UT expect there is issue with the overloaded function and parameter types. And then it um, fixed something here, it added a lot of clear like variable types, etc. And in the end it actually run the tests and it says everything is working fine. It also created this t test file for me, so let's just run it. Finished. 26 tests, everything worked fine. Great. So yeah, I still recommend highly to go through the tests to make sure everything is actually as you expect to be. Sometimes it makes tests that are really make no sense, but on the other end, having 26 tests, you probably wouldn't have wrote yourself and it doesn't hurt as much if you have like duplicated tests or like just different values. That's the beauty about testing is you can't test enough. So I said, yeah, this was a simple case for the AI because um, these are pure functions, just uh, it doesn't do anything that's related to the data structure or the tables. So let's uh, dial up the difficulty and test this package, which has create APIs, basically functions that do inserts. So this is a body here we can see. It's simple inserts, but it's still inserts. For example, an initiative does need to have like an area to work, referential constraints basically. So again, in this package, I just created a new chat that's important because a long chat history has a lot of context. If it's a new task, a new issue, create a new chat with an empty context. Um, I again ex added all the, the test folder, the uh, project SQL, uh, package spec and package body basically. And again, generate me some tests. I changed the package name and I said only test create area and create initiative functions just for demo purposes. It probably could also create more ones, but yeah, this has pr plenty of procedures. So maybe it makes it's better to actually do waves and not ask too much from the AI. So let's go. So you can see here now, that's the beauty of it. Now let me check the table structures to understand what data needs to, what data I need to insert for the testing. Now it does read the combined table SQL, searches for the tables in there and does get the bigger picture of how the data model works. So here you can actually see a dblinter thing. So it says here calling this one, it should prefix with owner schema sys. And as you, as I was saying it, it fixed it. Um, so that's the beauty of AI in combination with like a linting tool. It compiled uh, the packages and now it tried to run the tests. And actually there are issues with the tests in here. In this case, like some foreign key violation. Um, so it's then trying to fix the issue now. Okay, so it uh, fixed the issue. <clears throat> so it now in the setup function, it's um, creating a team member and later on querying this. 
but I can now click keep changes. Everything works. Interestingly, like a setup function here, it tries to delete any data that could cause trouble with for uh, unique constraints, for example. So it's adding any test prefix areas, also um, uh, initiatives areas and team members. And it sets up this team member because it, what I notice is, for example, uh, it tests also for the negative cases. For example, you can't test this with passing null as area. In this case, it does like to just wrap it in a begin exception block. And then in the handler here, uh, it just checks if the SQL code is error uh, is working. So yeah, wrapping up, um, AI just created 42 tests in, um, yeah, it, it takes a bit of time, like five to 10 minutes to come up with tests to make sure everything works, any hiccups. But like, I like to do it bef before I do a small break, just let the AI work, come back, see if it works or not. Don't, so it doesn't hold me up as much, but I wouldn't have spent the time to write this myself. So I think it's a huge benefit where AI can really help developers improve the quality. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm from United Codes. We do products and consulting. So contact us if you want to do anything and see you in the next video. Bye bye.